Let's just kind of put them. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Freyjan, and welcome to this first video of a series about my comic book. I've talked a little bit about that comic book uh, in posts here and there on Twitter, on uh, YouTube, but I've never really talked about it in details. Today, uh, we're starting off with uh, just telling a little bit what it is about, and you can watch a speak painting of me working on the fourth page and kind of dying inside because this took forever. So uh, the story is called Mandorla Wheel, which is uh, the name of a very important uh, divine figure, divine entity in the story. I started working on that story when I was like 10 and I'm 28 today, so it's been a, a long time. Of course, it's changed a lot. I'm sure a lot of people among you are writing and I've been writing since you are young and we always write and write and change the story as we grow, which is normal, I think, when we grow, our story grows with us. It started off with the, that project when I was a kid, and in 2012, I achieved to get two books published, which were like the first real official version of that story, and I was really, really happy that I was able to get it published. Uh, it's only in French, unfortunately, but I don't even know if it's still possible to find them. The first year they got out, it was great, and then they flopped, but I don't care about that. I mean, it was just a great and thankful for the experience, and just being able to go to book festivals and have something was crazy amazing. Since then, I never really published anything. I went to school and uh, I tried to do something with my life, which didn't really work. <laughs> Uh, but <laughs> I knew that I wanted to get back to that story of my novel. I wanted to work on it again to improve it and to do something new with it. And that's why I thought of comic books because my child dream uh, is to be a comic book artist. I'm not someone that has a lot of patience. I, I lack patience a lot and the irony is that I'm an animator on YouTube which takes a lot of time too. I don't know why I do that to myself. This is a fantasy story. The principal characters are called Kueo Regen and Jo. Uh, they are two people that will meet in the first tome. They kind of meet under very strange circumstances. Jo is a minotaur and minotaurs are very very bad known at the surface because they only live on the ground. People are terrified of them because the rumor is that a minotaur that is living at the surface was banned by his people so he is either a criminal or a super dangerous person. So when Jo arrives at Koro Regen's town he is in agony, he is dying, uh, we don't know why. So Quill Regen will find him outside in the, under the rain because he got a special sense uh, when people or animals or any living being is uh, weakened, is uh, wounded around him on a long distance. He can feel it, so he ran outside to save his life and he, he saved his life. The main story also re revolves around a bit of religion, since the, uh, like I said, Mandorla Wheel uh, is an entity and there's deities. There's one character that is in opposite to that, so he's kind of going on a rampage, on a revolution against the religion to tell people that they don't need gods, they don't need divinities to be able to do what they want to do. In this page, uh, you can see Koyo Regen. He is a skinwalker. Skinwalkers are people that can take the power of an animal through their skin, through their fur. He is working on one of his uh, capes, on his fur capes. Usually, a skinwalker would communicate with the spirit of the animal through skin. The animal he's working on is a hare. Uh, I don't exactly know how to pronounce it in English since it's, it's the French word. It's an animal from the Quebec mythology, the province where I live. And uh, the hare is in fact any animal. It could be like any mammal in the forest. The only way we, we distinct them from any other animals is their very long silky red tail. The little animal that is following Coeragion everywhere, that is called Darissa, is an amphipter. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's a mythological creature, it's a winged snake. So that's uh, his little pet. Kuraragen is a cavalid. Cavalids are people that have horse traits. They have horse ears, they have a very strong cardio-respiratory capacity, they can run, they can endurance, they can endure a lot of stuff, they can run very long time, long period of time, like horses. Cavalids are one of the main races, the main people 
Like I said, there's also minotaurs, uh, there's also elves, there's tamers that are like people from the another country, another continent that came in the past. Uh, a lot a lot of stuff and I, I get just so excited to talk about it. I'm like, I want to tell everything, but I can't. This is too much. So that was just a little, a little sneak peek of uh, what I'm working on. And like I said, I want to make kind of a series about that, about Mandorla Wheel. Uh, I'm gonna upload some videos in between animations about it. So if you like that formula of me talking with speed painting, let me know in the comments. If uh, I might also do kind of videos where I, uh, I design characters, because I've got a lot of characters that I know their name, but I don't know exactly what they are wearing or what they look like. So I could do also videos of me brainstorming and, and working on my characters if you would like. Just tell me in the comments what you like and what you want to want to know about my comic and if you like that idea of a, a series so thank you everybody so much for watching see you next time